Come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits? The Saturday Night Freak Show. (laughs) Welcome, foolish mortals, to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Too much. Too much. (laughs) Why don't I try some much? You're not a you're not a, a horror host on Saturday night, my well, friend. What are you talking? Oh wait, about? you are. Yeah, yeah there shit. you go. We should work this up every week. <laughs> uh, you're listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, a movie review podcast that happens every Saturday. We hope you'll tune in for our new episodes. We're 300 plus at this point. We've lost count. Oh yeah, I mean, we, we don't care after yeah, you hit 300. You're like 330 now. Yeah, maybe. four 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 hundred. We'll be check back thing. in at four four hundred and. 420. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. Hey, by that point, Special we'll episode. be able to just light up down here. Yeah, yeah. So it shouldn't be a problem. Yes. All right. I'm, uh, I'm down for that. We might have get, to pick a, a stoner vape, movie though. for that episode. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. Stoner. Hor- we just did that last week with Idle Hands, which yeah. I'm sure you all listen to. Uh, for those of you Sorry, playing along at home, you can uh, write to us. We're on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. We're on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And we're also on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. These are the internet radio superstars. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Michaela! Michaela, what have we watched tonight? So this summer, we've been... I've been taking us through All Man summer. versus Nature movies. Yes, yeah. this is our final final for the summer. Oh, this is the last um, one? Yes. Okay. And uh this is the end of summer. Yeah, it was this is your August summer. episode. Fucking high note. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um and uh so we started with Man's Best Friend and then after Killer that, Dog. Killer Dog, we did mm-hmm. Kingdom of the Spiders. Killer Spiders. And we did Orca the Killer Whale. Killer Whales. Yes, and now we're on Strays, Killer Normal Cats. Normal house cats. <laughs> Killer are just nothing, nothing. They're feral. Like, They're feral cats. Like if you, if, feral you, if you look over the history of the movies we've looked at this summer, Man's Best Friend is a genetically modified dog. Right. Uh, Kingdom of the Spiders, genetically modified spiders. Are they genetically modified? They had the, the bug angry. spray. Yeah, the, the spray, oh, yeah, remember? The, yeah, right, right, right. The pesticide. The yeah. 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 I was going to say D2. It's the pesticide. Um, Orca, it's, it, we called it a death fish. It's, 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 a, it's, a, re- a, revenge it's a revenge. It's a revenge modified whale. Yes. This one? Their cats. Feral it's mildly. their it's their it's, house. It's a chemical imbalance. They're territorial, maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's the best I can go with. This is birds for cats. It is um, birds for cats. And as we've been going through these, we've I'm, talked I'm about. I'm gonna write that on this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's the thing. That's the quote. And as we've been going through these, we've talked about how a lot of times in pop culture things hit twenty year cycles. Um. So for nature attacks movies, it is the late seventies and like mid to late nineties. Um, and actually, yeah, I looked at all four we've done. We did two in the seventies and two in the nineties. So, so what? Wait, what year is this? This is ninety one. This is a little bit off cycle. This is at a weird time, I think. I don't know what what Cujo was that. 89? Cujo was eighty. No, that was like eighty three. Cujo eighty three. Mm-hmm. It's early eighties. And your alligators and your cat's eye. That mm-hmm. was maybe the last time that they did killer cat movies. What yes, do you got? Eighty three. Correct. Sleepwalkers. Sleepwalkers. Right, which How we, we covered on Sleepwalkers. this show. Sleepwalkers, Sleepwalkers was Sleepwalkers. amazing. No. Those were not killer cats. Those were killer cat people. Cat people. Yep, cat we also people. The cats cat were actually the, the good show. guys. In yeah. That yeah, the cat. Yes. Clovis led the yeah. cats to. Very this true. is the anti sleepwalkers. It really mm-hmm. is. Although we don't have a name for Boris or uh, what are we going to call him? The oh. church. I mean, he looks like church. He yeah. looks a lot like church. They saw a pet cemetery yeah. like, we so what, that that's, yeah. that's not a tabby cat. What is that? He's a Russian blue. A yes. Russian blue. Okay, so yes, this cat looks a lot like a uh, church from Pet Cemetery. They knew what they were doing. That's mm-hmm. on purpose. <laughs> There's They're a lot of dumb. shots where it's like, yeah, this oh, is this what? is a shot. This is an outtake from Pet Cemetery. This is two orange. years after Pet Cemetery. Yeah. They yeah. don't know an exactly. Orange what they're cat doing. getting up there, being like, Meow. actually, did yeah. you know? So, like, have you noticed in a lot of uh, marketing for cats, they use orange cats in like, you know, commercials for like cat litter sure, and yeah. things like that, and cat food. Orange cats test the best with audiences because they're the um, fucking cutest so they, that's why the orange cats are used in everything and black cats don't get used in anything because they don't Nothing. photograph well they don't photograph well it's really hard to true to, yeah cat. there's no expression on yeah. a black cat's mm-hmm. face technically. So, yes that's so yeah it would never be an orange cat in a movie like this true 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 i get that mm-hmm. oh this movie's called strays i don't think i said that oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right well yeah you do so what are we watching tonight? you're just yeah. like uh movies yeah uh, strays. strays. Michaela snuck one in on us too because uh, originally yeah, she. Yeah, you was, don't. Yeah, this is. Yeah, un, 
<laughs> Khan's guidelines of what can make hey, it onto the freak show. Show Factory released this. Blame True. them. Yeah, that's why I movie. got the idea. So this is this is how this came about. You're like looking for something like what can I? Yeah, oh, killer cat movies coming out from Shot Factory. I'm d- gonna do it. And then it turns out we learned out that this movie was produced for the USA Television Network in 1991. It's a TV movie. That meant uh, something different in 1991, though. Yeah, this is yeah. a pretty hardcore TV movie, I feel like. Hardcore? I mean, it, it did things I did not expect a TV movie to do. It it tried some things. We'll get into it. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> and now I'm curious. All right. All right. What, what's the tagline for our Strays movie here, Michaela? They say cats have nine lives. Will one of them be yours? That's a good tagline. Good Who's tagline. the who um, who tagline. made this movie? John McPherson. Who's he? He directs that? a lot of TV. Oh yeah, okay. that's all he's ever done. He hasn't done a legit feature. Movie. Everyone gets one shot at movies. Yes. Yeah, and it all depends on how you pull it off. Oh, feature uh, films? Did this guy get a shot at a feature? No, no, no okay. No, he's only the TV. television. How TV director? Not. How could he not after this movie? Did no one watch this? This he was, isn't his first movie. He was the cinematographer on Jaws the Revenge. What, what is this? Bravo. The cinematographer. No, this Bravo. one here. The Incredible Hulk TV series? Is that the return of the Incredible Hulk? No, it just says the Incredible Hulk, 1997 to 1981. Okay. Okay, I thought maybe... He was the was cinematographer on a lot of things, Jaws but he didn't the direct Revenge. a whole lot. Right. Yeah. Bravo. He's so oh, and he, he did the cinematography for Short Circuit 2. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, good, good for him. Uh, I'm more interested in his cinematography career. Oh, V. Than the Is that V, the final v. battle? See, yep. he shot okay. a lot so of yep. he's he Mr. Shot a lot TV, of shit. Whether it was and good he or graduated not, I mean, we to do Strays. Yeah. Strays stars the eponymous... The eponymous. I don't know. There's I'm a ring called Stray. It, uh, <laughs> no. Timothy uh, Busfield. Busfield. Thank yep. you. Who mm-hmm. all of you will know from uh, uh, West Wing uh, Studio sixty. Uh, what would you? What did you say? Thirty thirties. Thirty something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was him and Peter Horton. I think were like two people I remember from thirty something mm-hmm. TV show. I like Timothy Busfield. I no, think he, I, I think he's pretty good. I think he can deliver a line. You yeah. like him or you don't like? Him? I do like. I do like. He can deliver a line very well. Okay. I'm good. Uh, we also figured out that he's uh, Colin's uh, doppelganger. Yeah, his his <laughs> younger doppelganger. That was me at it was thirty past. something. Yes, that was your past. Yeah, um, it's uncanny, and uh, it is to me. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> should see this, but I should pull up some photos after the Lost Boys phase. Um, yeah. Our female lead is Kathleen Quinlan, who we would know Academy from... Award nominee. What was she? Uh, Apollo for? thirteen. She was Tom Hanks' wife in that she movie. Uh, well, I remember that, but mm. th- that was the Academy Award. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right, all right. I remember yep. her from. Uh, well, genre fans will remember her from the Twilight Zone, the movie, and Event she's, Horizon. Yeah, and Event Horizon. That's right, because she, she's getting yeah. close to getting on the wall if she's not there already. Oh yeah, uh, the Wall of Fame. I mm-hmm. should make a, a mention here. Right. Uh, the Wall of Fame is uh, for longtime listeners of the show will know that anytime an actor, actress, or director shows up uh, that we cover three of their films, we induct them into the Wall of Fame. We have a whole a gallery of photos uh, uh, framed. Yeah, one day on we'll wall. show yep. you what this looks yep. like because it's magnificent. Um, MF Mad is a longtime listener. Keeper he is the, the keeper of the wall, mm-hmm. and he has sent us the updated oh, we got the excellent of the uh the wall of fame God so bless. now good. we need God to check him. and see if kathleen quinlan had well he would have let us know i suppose I yeah. if, she, if, she, yes. she was also in the hills have eyes remake i remember her mm-hmm. yeah she took over the mother mm-hmm. role yeah yep she was in the doors you remember yeah. the doors yep. that's what She's i remember been in everything because she has that immortal line fuck me rock god <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Oliver Stone at his uh, oh, man. We peak go, of his powers. We go from P's to R's in this list. No Q's. Right no Q's. Huh? We got a, well, Kathleen Quinlan We got is one more for on her way. Kathleen Quinlan she, on there. I mean, she's a, in a ton of stuff all across the board, too. She really so. is. Yeah, uh, she's been working for a while. She I still mean, works. She's really good. Yeah. Yeah, Kathleen Quinlan. And uh, also in this movie is. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, God, what was her name? Claudia Christian. Yes. Oh, yeah. Who, She's a very familiar face. Yeah, you sci fi people, know you know her from Babylon 5, the beloved uh, okay. sci fi series. Okay. Uh, horror sci fi people will know her from The Hidden, uh, Jack Shoulders movie. He's the guy who did Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Mm-hmm. has Kyle MacLachlan body hopping aliens. At one point, the alien hops into her body. Uh, I'd hop into her body. Yeah, right. I think you teed me up for that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> she was just a maniac cop, too, right? right. After just saw Claudia Christian. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, so the premise of this film, Michaela, why don't you set us up? Well, I mean, give us the cold open, because all TV shows uh, have a cold open. 
This is built around act breaks because there are the fade outs. There's a lot of them. Yes. Yeah. Um, there's an old woman living in an old house uh, in the woods, and she has umpteen cats. It's hard to tell. Cause umpteen. There's, How many is that? Um, it's it feels like it's at least a 15. lot. Yeah, because there's like there's the ones that live inside her house, and then she says we have visitors. And so the like there's gather. outdoor cats too, and she goes outside to feed them. There's a ton. There's uh, we get cat POV shots of some more menacing cat obviously watching her. She goes down to her like cellar. To get when tuna. cellars are on the outside, yeah, and right, the uh, storm cellar, yeah, or the fruit cellar, yeah. yeah sure. She was here. well, she was pickling some things and jarring them and right. s- yeah. stashing them. Oh away. yeah, yeah. She's an old cat lady. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Question. Yep. Why are there no old cat men? Uh, right here, Colin. <laughs> just, just give right Sean here. some time to get old, okay? <laughs> Let me get there, okay? They what, exist. What they is just, the appeal of? Okay, why don't, don't women have like old cat men don't collect a bunch of cats? I don't think. I think no. they have one they bond I, with. I think and that's so, it. and that's like, they have a life partner cat. Yeah, and yeah. that's where kind of like go. a dog. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Guys really have is. like the dog friend that they live forever right. with. We like, yeah. we'll like somebody tries cats. to kill their dog, and then they have to go off on right. revenge. Right. We have get... a one, just like we got to focus on that relationship. Yeah. By, by that definition, my dad's an old cat guy because he had yeah. one cat that like that was his cat, and yeah. they were like inseparable. And then once that cat passed, he's never had another cat. Like, yeah. He, yeah. He, he like so what he, is it with cat women? Yeah. I. It's got to be like nurture, impulse control it's a, like or something. Like a family thing or something, right? You got to have I like guess. a whole bunch of cats. Okay. Yeah. But eventually it gets out of control. Yes. It becomes a hoarding they, situation. Yeah. yeah watch any have, episode of Hoarders where there's just cats running all over cats. the place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's I wanted the, to help them all. What's the disease that uh, you can get from cats that kill the guy in train spotting? Uh, oh. Um, Toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasmosis. <laughs> Thank you very much. You, yeah, you get that from cat shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, yeah. What, I remember that it gets from, bubbles uh, in the brain or something. Yeah, it's what's fucking... the is it n- a nine and a half months or whatever with the Hugh Grant and Julianne Moore and Robin Williams? What's the fucking movie where she's pregnant and he's like, I got to get rid of my cat, my car. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, isn't it nine months? Is it nine months? Yeah. I think it's nine yeah. months. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why I know it because yeah. Robin Williams plays the foreign doctor who's like, who's trying to figure out that? He's like, what's it called? Uh, Toxoplasmosis. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, yeah. That's yeah. the only reason I know. No, that. they say like pregnant women should not yeah, be they around no, you're uh, not supposed cats. To. Should not. Yeah. Yep. No. Because I true. think there's something in. Well, we're saying toxoplasmosis is a, a something you get from cat shit, mm-hmm. but I think there's also something in cat pee, mm-hmm. which is extremely bad for uh, developing babies or something like that. You yep. know, uh, the, the ammonia or something like that, like dog pee, not as bad as cat pee. No, cat, cat pee is just, like it's it just it. rancid. Yeah. Yeah, I've had cat. I had. Well, I had two cats in my life, but yeah, cats. And they do eventually pee in your fucking house. <laughs> this is something you got to live with if you have a cat. Mm-hmm. It'll I mean, happen eventually. Yeah. So, cat lady. Sorry, it was a tangent. <laughs> a cat pee tried, tangent. It felt like. Cat tangent. Well, we're going to go on probably a lot of cat cat tangents or something tonight. Because um, this is the killer cat movie, as far as we know. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, old old cat lady. So she's being stalked. This is the thing. She's mm-hmm. got a bunch of cats in her old farmhouse in uh, where was it? Garth. 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 She lives in Garth, like Garth, California, or Garth, Washington, or yeah. whatever. People become Garthonians Garth, when they move there. Something like that. This felt like it, feel, it's, it feels. It's pet cemetery knockoff. It basically, because is. it's the, like this guy. He's not a doctor. He's a lawyer. But they even say they moved from Chicago, just like pet cemetery. Yeah, to, moving to that small some town in the middle small of townhouse in the middle of nowhere to get away from whatever problem they have back home that is apparently family related, just like it's a pet cemetery knockoff. See, I was seeing shades of arachnophobia. That, but you're see, right. that, that is what came through for me. But arachnophobia, arachnophobia. has more of a, I mean, I suppose budget allows for a bigger scope where yes. arachnophobia actually incorporates the town. Yes, the town it has becomes a, town. a little bit more right. of a player. And, you and know, there's your, more scenes you can get away from the family and go throughout the town with yeah, other characters. I got and the this feeling it just sticks it, with this family. It, it's, you know, uh, it felt to me just like the writer must have been like in from new york the whole idea that you have to, you're you're living in the country right upstate or something and you have to get a taxi or you got to get a ride to the bus station or the train station where you can take a train into the city where you work as a mm-hmm. lawyer that feels very uh, new york mm-hmm. i don't know if that happens in chicago here we have cars everybody drives around cars do you uh-huh. drive to somewhere where you get on the l I mean, I take the train every day to go to work. Yeah, so, but you, you know. live in the city. But you drive to get the on the train. 
right? For like, yeah, but that's what he's saying. Yeah, but that's what he's saying. Like, yeah, yeah. But in New York, there are people that live there their whole lives and never even have a driver's license. Oh yeah, you don't need it. Yeah, yeah. You're stacked on top of 50 other people. Yeah, it's awful. I can't imagine. Like down there. Yeah. Take a train. It's so green. Okay, so um, so well, what we skipped over is that the old woman perishes in the cold open of this movie. We don't see how or why she turns around and POV camera leaps at her face mm-hmm. and she screams fade out. Mm-hmm. Fade up, new family moves in like Pet Everything's Cemetery. Everything's perfect. Yep. Right, Most because like. they're very happy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they're going to become uh, Garthonians. Mm-hmm. Right. They're, they're the kind of joking around family. Who wouldn't be happy to just move out in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> right? You got this dream farmhouse. It has stains what all over. What city people are just like, I'm going to go live on a fucking farm and I'll you be see happy. Seven? I think they oh, do they have that. Have like, I think if it's, I think this is where the New York City makes more sense too because this feels like a very New York City thing because like there are huge swaths of New York City where you won't even see trees or grass, right? Yeah. So I guess if you've lived in that your whole life, the idea of living in the country probably seems like an escape, yeah, right? Timothy, right. what's his name? Bumsfeld yeah. Westfield says something. <laughs> Bums, Bumsford Westfield, yeah. Bumstead. Bum, yeah, Dark definitely City. Bumstead. Uh, yeah, he says at one point, I think part of the dialogue is like, I, I was getting used to seeing green out mm-hmm. here in the sticks. Yeah. You know, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is, yeah, it's supposed to be upstate New York. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm betting it. Even though it's filmed <laughs> in Los be. Angeles. Got to be. Where they, do they have trains? They don't. They have buses. Los Angeles? They have they trains. Got, they have subway. Do they? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they have a subway. It's just not as efficient as Get it is in other fuck. cities. Yeah. Yeah. What? They have a subway. Yeah. Most now, major cities I know do. That we saw Predator Two, and Predator Two said they had a subway. But I remember reading articles at that point uh, where they said fake. it was a science fiction movie because they had a subway in Los Angeles. No, they well, they, it's just not. It's not as efficient because the way LA is so spread out that it's, it is. It's driving they, is it's, easier. It doesn't spread as far as by any means as far as New York. Yeah, it'll take you places, mm-hmm. but it does not connect you to everywhere. Where's Blade take place? I'm trying to think of a movie that shows you the Los Angeles subway. It's not as crucial to the like the way where's, of life there. Where's speed? You know? Los Angeles. That's a good subway. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. When, people, right. when, when people think about LA, they think about being stuck in traffic. Stuck you know? in traffic. Yeah, because yeah, right. nobody uses the subway. Right. Um, because okay, it doesn't so. go that far. Right. But like, we're not talking about. No, subway. we're not. I'm sorry. We're, we're off the, the train. We're talking subway. about. We'll come back to train talk. <laughs> right. Killer God. cats. Uh. So. Um. New family moves in. Yes. Then what happens? Um, they, well, yeah, no, we were talking about their house. You know, at least in Pet Cemetery, the house was really nice. So it was like, I can get that. This house is in kind of shit shape because like, old yeah, hoard- an old hoarder lady lived there. So it's yeah. like, it needs a lot of work. It does. Yeah. I mean, as we discovered throughout the movie, because it feels like all this stuff was, should you know all the stuff that they discover before you buy or move in? Like, shouldn't they, they must check- have bought it sight and seen? I guess so. Shouldn't you? They shouldn't. Well, you like, have a house rats inspector, be checked out? right? Well, they yeah. should check for rats. They should check for leaks. Like, like your wait, wiring's really well, bad. Her right. sister was the realtor, right? Yeah. So yeah. they just trust that my sister isn't going to fuck me over, right? Who was also uh, uh, Timothy Busfield is helping her out in her divorce. It's a whole it's a very trade. complicated Okay, so let's situation. talk yeah. about mm-hmm. there's two movies going on here. There's the Lifetime movie, and then there's the horror movie. Yes. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the Lifetime movie, Okay, which is what you so, kind so of dipped Timothy your toe Busfield into. Timothy and, and the sister-in-law, yeah. as it were. Yeah, the family yeah. dynamic. What's going on there? Um, we got Timothy Busfield as a lawyer who uh, his wife's sister is getting divorced, and he is representing her. And it's been a, a little bit of a difficult divorce up till this point. Because she's a man eater. Is that uh, uh, good to say? She is. There's a she's moment. needy. Well, there's a moment early on. This is, sets up kind of the lifetime movie dynamic where yeah. uh, sister uh, Claudia Christian, like, is so thankful to Timothy Busfeld for helping her out that she plants a, like, full on, like, French kiss. No, okay. No, uh, yeah, there's it, it's there's, there's a probably kiss, but it's, it's a good it's a good enough kiss where they can cut away to the wife and then cut back and the kiss is <laughs> still going on. And the wife's like so in the kitchen so, looking out right. the window like, what the fuck is going on out there? So that's a kiss. Yeah. And then we're sitting there going like, OK, so what's the what's the the, the, the rules here when you have like a familial like right. uh, on the mouth uh, right. make out? Because if that's like going to happen, right? that is a uh, 
that is that, and that is as long as that kiss yeah, should happen. Not the like, ooh, no, hey, because baby, that was like at least you. like five seconds. Yeah, and that's too long. So I was sitting there going like, okay, we're oh. just being introduced to this. Like, do they have an affair that's been taking place? Is that the dynamic that's no. happening here? Timothy no. Busfield will not cheat on this one because he's Timothy Busfield or his character. <laughs> like, Both. You're like hey, Timothy Busfield is a <laughs> beyond. Like I know him. He's a Both. good yeah. guy. All right, he's a good guy. So, uh, yeah, so this sets up uh, a thing where then you pit sister against sister. She gives her a wicked burn when they go out to lunch the Mm -hmm. same day. And uh, she's like, well, you know, uh, uh, because Claudia Christian's talking. Was it Lindsay? No, what's her name? I can't remember. Lindsay's one of them. Claire. Lindsay and Claire? Yeah, Claire is uh, talking about some guy she wants to date. And uh, uh, I think uh, Lindsay is saying, like, well, you know, you have these problems with men or whatever the hell you're doing. She's still getting divorced. And then she says something about Chet Chutney. No, what's his name? Charles Lagoon. Chuck Lagoon. Lubin. Chuck, Chuck Lubin. Lubin. Chuck Lubin. <laughs> Chet Chutney. You Chuck, Chuck Lubin. Yeah. Chuck Lubin. Yeah. She's having an affair with Chet. Chuck, Chuck Lubin. Chuck Lubin. <laughs> Chuck Chuck. Never going to come out. Okay. Uh, uh. Yeah. Um, everybody at home is like sitting there going like, what do I care about this? <laughs> I thought this was a killer cat. It is. It is. I know, but this is what I was thinking at this point. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh boy. Wow. We have really wandered in. Yeah, but it's only like 15 minutes into this movie. It makes Colin. a dramatic, like it is trying to set up, like this is a writerly thing, right? Where they're going like, we're going character, uh, character set up here. Yeah. And they're going all in and like, this is a separate movie and then abruptly at like the halfway point it just goes cats. kill a cat <laughs> cat switches on <laughs> yeah because the whole first part of the movie i was kind of sitting there going like uh excuse me you you are gonna have killer cats in your killer cat movie he's like mm, excuse me where are the there's killer a cats? lot of there's a lot of this is of the hand rocks the cradle for the first yeah. like, half hour <laughs> Yeah. That movie picks up speed really quickly, though, too, uh, towards yes, the it end. Does. Yeah, Indeed. but this one makes a, I mean, it's just like all of a sudden, okay, now we're a killer cat movie, like on a commercial break, I think. Yeah, basically. Um, so the first part of it, yeah, as we explained, I mean, like, you know, the wife thinks that the husband, it, she puts him in the doghouse. There's a bunch of arguments, you know, in the cat on. box. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the whole like, you liked it. That doesn't actually happen. You let us creep. Yeah. She's well, like, accusing she, him of. Uh, later, she, I mean, this, this is the next part of the Lifetime movie, but later when she goes to the office to show off the kitten they found, right. I don't know really why they're going. Um, she she walks you know, in and they're she, like she's going for a purpose. Like she's like, she's like I'm I gonna catch check him. On my yeah. husband. Yes. Yeah, and it turns out he is at that moment in an embrace with the sister, and she's crying. The sister's crying too. Yes. So it looks extra. It doesn't look great because yeah. it turns out she the reason her husband left her is because she was having an affair or something like right. that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Ooh, this doesn't look good for you. I okay. know this, yeah. listen, dear listener, Brailler. This sounds very like. Dramatic for a killer cat movie <laughs> for a movie called Strays. This is, a, is this is the why you get the guy from Thirty Something is because you right, know yeah. <laughs> he's um, used to these kind of yeah. calisthenics. I know you were expecting the Vin Diesel Strays. Movie, but, uh, <laughs> this is not that. Yeah. This is not that heavy drama. This is a killer cat movie. No, uh, Timothy uh, Busfield. Busfield is kind go. of thank you very much, Bumstead. He Busfield. He was uh, <laughs> Bumstead. This is not a Blondie well, movie. He determines that uh, you know, first of all, the phone repairman that they come over to fix their fucking phone system, which apparently has like five hundred lines in it. Yeah, in the basement, the crawl space. In Maybe the, this was an cellar. inn at some point where they had separate uh, <laughs> yeah, phones for each amazing. for the twelve rooms in the house. Uh, he uh says you got rats. You got rats in the basement. You got rats upstairs. You get yourself a cat. He doesn't. Sound. Because is no, it? No, no. Sorry, does this guy have a cigar and a <laughs> fucking Italian mustache. He's like the worst fucking. Like I'm like he want business, right? This guy's just rude. Yeah, I'm tired and I don't care about you know. You're just get rats. the fuck out of him. The guy's a phone repairman. What's he care about rats? He's yeah. just like you should fix the rats. Oh, that's right. There's a dog in this movie too. Well, I was gonna say about the rats. It, it inverts. One of Sean's favorite things to predict in any movie we watch down Which here. Which is expected in this movie yeah. called Strays. It's the cat jumping out of nowhere to scare the uh, uh, protagonist of our movie. Mm-hmm. What do we get instead? Rat. Yes. <laughs> the jumping rat. The jumping rat. Because that's what they do. You open a fucking cabinet 
And these things just jump right on you. Do you know how far I'd run if I I opened a cabinet and a rat jumped on me? I'd be done. (laughs) I know. I remember that night. Whatever uh, city I was in, we were watching Kingdom of the Spiders. Goodbye, Chicago. (laughs) I'm done with you. A giant rat just jumped on me. I gave Sean the fright of his. Oh fuck you! (laughs) (laughs) On Kingdom of the Spiders, yeah, it was great. So Uh, yes, I can imagine what it would be like (laughs) if a rat jumped on you. I could see it in my mind. Yeah, Uh, they scurry more than a fucking spider does. (laughs) I don't want anything jumping on me. Anyone would do that, Sean. Anyone would do it. Yeah. Thank you for yes. your... I would not be happy with that either. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> no. All right? I think you be need like, to realize that shit. before you next time <laughs> try and scare the shit out of me, okay? Think about your Go own feelings. Go back and feelings. listen to that Kingdom of the Spiders Jesus. episode. No, we're talking about It's unfair. Um, okay, so... Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so there's a dog. They have a dog named Benny. They have a dog. Right. Uh, he's, for Benny most of the movies, too afraid to go out the... Dog door. You're trying to teach him how him. to go out the yep. dog door through most of the yep. movie. Which, first of all, shut the door. <laughs> well, especially because they have shut the door. They have, shut the door. They have one of those doors that's split in half to where you can close the bottom or the top right. and leave one open. It's a country door. So it's yeah. even yeah. it's even it more is. pointless for Ed them door. to even have a dog door. Just leave the bottom half open if you want the dog to go out. You don't well, even need a, a dog door. That you're it's making the, you're selling me on this. I like, didn't even think of like, that. They're before. idiots for they point. <laughs> it's just you're right. It's slightly bigger than the dog door. you gotta if you're gonna have a fucking hole in your door, you may as well just leave the door open. Exactly. So why why put a <laughs> they have a half door, and instead of just leaving the half door open, let's cut a hole in the in this half sized door. Right. There's half of a whole door, yeah. anyways. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> These yeah. people are idiots. It's amazing. Smart. Yeah. Well, what they are unaware of is that uh, you know because obviously new owners coming in, they did not know that the entire house is basically the lair mm. for uh, fifty thousand cats who have uh, congregated here under the guidance of Bruno. What are we going with his name? Do we decide? I like Bruno. Bruno's. Fine we'll call him that. Bruno. I wish he had a name. Right. Maybe that like, would have been awesome if he Bruce. had a name. Yeah, it feels like there's. Oh, I get it. You go, you have neighborhood kids come by and be like, you don't want to go in there. And so and so lives in the basement. You know, like they have them like talk about how like there's some big old mean cat that lives in the basement of that house to the little girl and give them a name then then and there. Yeah, they have done. like a three year old daughter who sleeps in a crib and, and uses <laughs> a bottle. It's very weird. Yeah. That, she's okay. not three. She's like two, but still terrible actress. She has full and teeth. An ugly Ter- kid, I was gonna say, I but think she has full <laughs> teeth. I was not a good looking kid. I was gonna say, I think she might be the worst kid actress we've ever seen on yeah. the movie down she here. She looks I mean, not at a the lot, camera not several a lot times. Is asked of her, but she's not great. Well, and I can't understand the few times she does have to speak. I can't understand a fucking word she's saying. Yeah, yeah. she's terrible. Well, she's and some of it's dubbed in shit. later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely terrible. Boot car. Boot car. What the fuck is she saying? Car's not blue, you idiot. <laughs> nah, I'm yelling at a child now. <laughs> you just called a child an idiot. Some yeah. child's idiot. Do you feel idiots. bad? Hey, Do you feel no, like... No, not at all. Kids, kids are kids not are... immune from being idiots. Right, yeah. yeah. True. Anyone can well, be an idiot. Well, that's when they're idiots. No matter what when age. You're, when you're a child, you're an idiot. Yeah. If, if anything, I would that? say kids are almost always idiots. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. For yeah. a long time. <laughs> Taken right. from a ch- person who has a child... <laughs> They're dumb. Speaking as a former child myself. <laughs> right. Right. This one's going to come back to haunt you. Oh, yeah. Sean, when your kid listens, like, my dad was on like 400 I, yeah. episodes. And you know what? I'm going to look at me Saturday like, night you know what? Show. You were dumb. <laughs> Argue with me about that. I have I have uh, uh, evidence that shows that you were not a smart child. <laughs> wow. What can you do? You uh, eventually became smart. <laughs> When you were young, it's called digging your own grave. Um, Only okay. for the kid. Okay, back to the cat movie. <laughs> right, cat. All movie. right. So, um, yeah, there's a big old mean cat that looks just like Church, but I, I think he's he might even wetter. look scarier than Church because he it, is. Definitely. He's not as fat. He's not no. as fat as Church. So he's, he's, yeah. And like you were saying, they had put like black eye makeup. Yeah, he is. He is on matted him. down with whatever the Alice whatever Cooper liquid. eyeliner. Yeah, he does. He's just like he's got <laughs> grease paint. Yeah, right. and, and some he's matted point, down with grease. There and, is a scene. <clears throat> which I appreciate in these kind of movies where in the basement, uh, Bruno is like up on some kind of pedestal. We got to figure out a different all the other Bruno kids. because I only think of Bruce Willis. And so we got to think <laughs> of something different. Of Bruno. Yeah. We got to think of something different. Should we go uh, Bruce or, uh, Blasco, uh, Bosco. Barlow, Bosco. We need to get away from the bees. Anyway, Blackness. evil cat, right? Yes. The grubby cat. Boss, grubby. boss cat. Boss cat. There we go. Boss, boss cat. cat is sitting holding court, and this is a scene which really needed subtitles where it we would understand what, what was, was going on. It felt like it was like 
It felt like at home in your basement with your own cats, you're recreating Be Prepared from The Lion King. Like, because he, he, the bird, the boss cat was sitting up on. Right, when he the, wow. coming up. Well, he yeah. was uplit. Yeah. He was uplit yeah. and he was sitting up. He was uplit and he was sitting up straight looking down on all the other cats. And they keep cutting to all these other cats like they're like they're talking to each other mm-hmm. and like he's it talking really to them. Is. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then he scurries wow. off to uh, up start to the his. Well, yeah, because this is uh, this is the part of the insidious nature of this cat, right. which I was not was entirely into- sure where the plot was going because cat goes through the vent, ends up in the vent to he's the into bedroom. Psychological torture. Well, oh. no, but before that, he's in the the vent to the bedroom mm. when the uh, the husband and wife are having their domestic issues. She's like having this problem. And he's listening. He's looking for loopholes. To, like, he's like, oh, I know this about them. They're having a problem in their marriage. I'm the pan up I they like this. <laughs> the, yes, the pan up they do from the couple arguing to him li- to him listening in the vent is the most like evil paw, camera yeah. move oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've ever it, like. This movie really... shot by the guy who shot a nightmare on Elm Street, yeah. Jacques yeah. Aitken. Yeah. It is. I think it's a well shot movie. It is. I think, yeah. it is, I think it's definitely. He the, likes his shadow. Purposeful. That's what he, he does. Yeah. But everything is done in that way where. It's just like, and then pen to the cat listening in, and you're just like, it's purposeful. It's, and it's evil. And it is. It's <laughs> evil, and it's great, because it's giving personality to the cats. Yeah. Without the cat having to do anything. Right. Like, that's what's... The, that's what's great about it. Every mo- animal movie we have ever watched, like, the best ones are when they can work with the raw material that is... The animal's right. going to do what it's going to do, and it's how you edit it and shoot it and use it that makes it effective. And this movie does a really good job at that. They, uh, the cat, his insidious plan is apparently during the night while they were sleeping. We find out about this when Amazing. they wake up. Yes. Uh, the cat gets somehow jimmies the, the, the screws Ranch. out of the, uh, the cover of the vent and pees all over Everything. Timothy Busfield. Just his pillow. stuff. And his clothes in the closet. And his shoes, we find out later. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Just everything. Just you, his stuff, though. I which, love it. Yeah. Which, oh, yeah. Which, if you've ever had a cat. Is the worst thing that could ever happen. Yeah, you, you, there's and just, it did it while you were get sleeping. Rid of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, and just peed on right. next to your head. That's waking up to this shit, and you're just like, I'll fucking burn it all down. I know. Mm-hmm. Imagine the volume of uh, water the thing had uh, to consume. God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? it's chugging mm-hmm. water as it's peeing. Yeah, yeah. So he's uh, like, at this point, like, we gotta get rid of these cats. They call in a a, a cat expert. The veterinarian. Oh, yes. because their dog, but their dog got attacked. Right. That's and the right. the vet who is pretty great character, I think. <laughs> Because he's a uh, he he basically seems like he's skeptical he's a of, of their of wisdom. He's, yeah, he's kind of a no bullshit dude. He's like, yeah. well, if you, you were a owning... better if you were a better pet owner, then this yeah. wouldn't happen. Owning a pet is a privilege. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You gotta take, and then he's always talking to like, good boy. You know they like that when you say that to them. Yeah. He even takes he takes Benny their dog he's back like, home with him because he doesn't trust these people to nurse him back to health appropriately. He's like the Cesar. Milan. Milan, yes. He's the Cesar Milan of this era of yeah. movies. And he takes Benny out of the movie at this point. Because yeah. Benny Which gets him. And nearly gets right. killed by Which the fucking cats. It's a smart thing to do. Yeah. No, so there's no dog in the rest of the no movie. No dog. Because you, you don't want to kill the dog. And you get well, you don't want to have like a cat and dog fight. That would just be... I mean, yeah, like but ridiculous. Oh, uh, I would say like upsetting in a weird way. You know, like mm. that just that, that doesn't seem like you're either going to have like 50 cats piling on a dog or you're gonna have a dog killing a bunch of cats. Like it's not gonna piling on a three year old in a well, crib. Well, <laughs> there is there, the cats do kill the telephone repairman. This is the great one eh, of the greatest. I feel like he kills himself. <laughs> okay, so Mostly. what happens there? He goes down into the cellar. He's an idiot. And boss cat jumps out at him and goes yeah. Row, right, and then the other cats all jump on him. And he runs himself into a shelving unit and knocks himself silly. And then he just dies. That's, and just dies. Just that's, gives that's up really the ghost. It. I like, mean, that's basically I, yeah. it. He's yeah, like, he doesn't get eaten by uh, cats or anything like that. Uh, he just knocks himself uh, dead. I'm going to choose to believe he's allergic. And <laughs> I, 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 I think that's the final thing that killed yeah. him. Yeah. Like, he knocked himself out, but then had to breathe cats for a couple yeah, days. And then right. he died. Oh, well, but like, if you're if you're really severely allergic, a scratch could kill you, too. Very so, true. you know. Very true. Um, but in it's the, probably closed, in the book. Yeah. His throat closed and he died. Yeah. Okay. In, All right. That, there we go. I got a good boomerang on our Instagram of the cats jumping on him, and when he falls <laughs> to the ground, you can see one of the cats jump on that actor's nuts like a hundred percent. Like that actor and it cuts right before he goes. Got, yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 We've all been there. Yes. <laughs> cats jumping on your nuts. Yep. Cats are just. It's not even just that. It's just a. It's a random walk, and they're just like boop. One paw just. 
Yeah. Yeah. They did us that. All animals are. Yep. Um, so now we've set the stage. We've got a dead body in the basement that nobody right. finds this for is, This is, it turns ever. into Chekhov's dead You body. say basement, but like, it this seems like the cellar. only doors they go through are the cellar doors in the exterior of the house. So and it's like, they, they come they up through the through attic. The, through the house. Yeah, because yeah. he offered to. He's he like, you can come in through yeah. the house, but they but don't. Nobody ever do does. No. no, they never establish that there actually is a doorway. I, I mean, like, in I dialogue, they do, but they never show. I feel like it's a drop down. Yeah. Like, oh, that's why they don't, right. Like, they don't use it because you yeah. have to drop down a house like again. My first house I had a hatch to the yeah. basement. Yeah. It's so scary. I don't like that's it. That's weird. Yeah. That's, that was, that was in like, uh, yeah. The, yeah. The, the, the Denny Villeneuve movie. Just, uh, prisoners? prisoners? Prisoners. Yeah. yeah. It's a really, yeah, really, really your, movie. That's how, where you keep your yeah. prisoners. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, like the only it. time you ever see that in pop culture is not for good. Not never Like, it's never used for good. And it's always someone goes down in there and then the door shuts behind them. Of course. No thanks. I don't. I don't, I don't. So if you're ever in the, in the market to buy a house, you ever see that? Yeah. Don't do it. Fuck no. Good. Never good. Never so good. somebody died in there. Well, this is, is about the time that the movie takes on its second half, where it becomes cat horror. Thank God. Cat horror. Awesome. That's what, yeah. That's what we want. We're getting well, a movie called Strays that's got nobody on the cover except for a fucking cat. Okay. Now the the image on the cover uh, of this, cat. the poster for this movie. Uh, shows is basically the shining. It's the I just, shining I'm with the it. cat. It's the shining. Yeah, it's it's in that moment where the it's the here's Johnny moment. It really is with a cat, cat coming through a door, which, which kind I of thought was hyperbole not, until I saw the movie, all. and it turns out it actually happens in the movie. Which in the is next the scene. greatest thing I wanted. Yeah, because those fucking cats are the the uh, Kathleen Quinlan takes her daughter. Uh, once we get into, like you said, in the second half of this movie, we're getting into a movie where the cats are. Attack. Right. But and it just comes out of nowhere. But before they really? punch through the door, the Kathleen Quinlan goes upstairs. She can't find her daughter. Right. She hears oh, because, a bunch of cats. Yeah. But that's where the, all the cats the are crib. in the crib. Yes. Yeah. And you're like, oh my God, they ate the fucking kid. It is terrifying when she opens that door and There's there like are 30, 30 cats, in, cats in that crib. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, like, oh my oh, God, is a little girl underneath all that shit? Because she's painting, I think. In yep. Right. Yep. And she goes in there and she starts throwing cats out of a yeah. crib. Yeah. Just, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of, and that. then it's they're just true. turns out they're just drinking the milk from that three year old's bottle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, cats but still love milk. Fucking boss no, I'm cat. more. I'm judging the bottle of a, the three year old. Sure, is my yeah, judgment. Yeah. I know it's cats love dairy, they but suck the shit yeah. out of. It. And the three, uh, sorry, the girls cowering in the closet, which the cat, the cat turns Michael, into Michael Myers, Myers like has knocked the, <laughs> the, slat. the slat closet. It's it's, yeah. The cat is punching through the slats. Yes. What at this makes girl. this fucking beast so like angry? I, it's uh, fear, it, Colin. It's fear. No, who has, it, who has more like fear than a three-year-old? In the, in the world no, but what makes it so like? Why is it so aggressive? Why, why is it so attack the human? It's feral. Yeah, that's the explanation the vet gives. So I yeah. guess so we're taking that's that. That's what we have to go it's with. A feral is... cat. Mm -hmm. It's just but, asserting its dominance and wants to kill all the people right. in and, the house. But I've noticed because uh, this is its fucking house. Well, but cats, because it, it had sex with the white cat. And has like a little offspring. It does. It's, it's protecting its life. But I've noticed, and this is from personal experience, that uh, cats don't like children. Certain cats, like you get little kids around them, they don't like them. They'll find well, with yeah, adults. Yeah, why would they? Kids, kids don't know any yeah. boundaries. But they, right. But they don't like, it's not even if they're not even, if they're like violent towards them or anything. Mm -hmm. And they don't like the smell. They don't like the look. Well, they don't they like move the all herky jerky. They're right. unpredictable. They don't like little children. I, I get it. I, I get, get it, it too. So then they sit on their chest and suck their breath, right? That's what, that's, that's, that's what everyone's afraid of. Legend. That's why they're like, get rid of your cat if you have a small child because yeah. they'll die. Yeah, cat but, will kill it. So the thing is though about this about this cat Michael Myersing through the slats on this yeah. on this closet door is that like it's not sitting on the floor doing that. It's hanging yeah. on the yeah. door, and it's like, really it, comical it how it's hanging on the door. Five slats out yeah. already. Yeah, it's yeah. Just yeah. Like, Right. I, exactly. I'm impressed Low with how they got camera. the boss cat to look in the right direction and hiss like that all the time. The like he's looking right. perfectly through those slots oh, hissing yeah. his the light off. Is hours. Good. Oh yeah. yeah, he's a mean little motherfucker. He is. Uh -huh. Yeah. They cast the right cat when they were casting this cat. I think he's I think he's scarier than church. Like I think he's better yeah. than church. Yeah. Oh yeah. I would agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would agree. Yeah. He's mean. He's, he's a mean, mean cat. He, he's he seems relentless. like he's a mean cat in real life. Yeah. Yeah. He's relentlessly mean, too. Like, yeah. he just yeah. does it. So, yeah, after, after the slot, uh, closet slot attack, she slams the door open. And, like, did he get, like, 
pin between the wall and the door? Is that yeah. what happened? Yes. Yeah. You sit there and go, yeah. Yeah. what if you notice that's a big furry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big furry puppet. And yeah. I'm just like, that cat got bigger. Yeah. yeah. She tries to escape. And it was that when she was. Uh, that's when she goes across the hall, shuts the door. That's when they start shining. Oh, yeah. Right. Pounding through ends. the door. The yeah. cats are actually clawing through they the oak door. Through the <laughs> oak <laughs> door. And you, you see, see a little, little black paw come through the door. <laughs> you yeah. saw how thick this door was when she closed it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. These She's are so like, oh, fucking, oh, my God. Yeah. And then to make it even worse, the cats start coming through the vent and she has to. Get up there and like start shoving she water pillows, on and then she water. rips it off well, and starts pushing pillows. So this pillows is through. this is what's established in this movie. The the, the veterinarian comes over and says, uh, "Hands Timothy Bumsfeld, Busfield, Busfeld. thank you, Busfield." A uh, of course, like he hands him a gun in a very dramatic scene. He turns sure. around, he's like, "Surprised us like, all!" Oh shit, he's got a gun. And he's like, "No, you take this." And they're like, "Wait, you got to shoot the fucking cat? It's a water gun." He yeah. says, "Cat's kryptonite." Is you fucking shoot them with water, you spray them, and it's traumatic for the cat, and they'll go away. No. So we have set up that water is cat kryptonite, right? In Which this is usually film. true. So she gets a bucket of water by uh, because the power goes out or something. It's a storm. There's a deluge outside. Right at this point, she's trapped in the house. With, it becomes Cujo. Mm-hmm. Like there's cats no, outside the you know door. Saying, she's the trapped power in the room. Doesn't go out. She just chooses not to turn on any lights <laughs> because the sister comes in later and just turns right. on the yeah. lights. Which she is, just chooses to be in the dark. Which is dumb because like she's at a visual disadvantage, but the cats aren't. Right. Like she's she making it harder on herself. On all the lights. Yeah. The cats can see just as better than you can in the dark. So. Yes. So there it is. It becomes a siege moment where they're trying to get into the room. She's trying to figure out how to get out of the room. Uh, she gets a. She goes in a bathroom. And knocks all the the faucet or sorry the uh, handles off because the it, tub. It was, yeah. was set up earlier that faucet, like she had to use a wrench to get it going. You know, there was I a lot, a lot of setup and payoff in this movie. It was impressive. This is, it really this is. This is one of those movies where I don't know if it's impressive or because it's so blatantly obvious that everything that they showed you in, early in the movie pays off later on. I mean, I guess that's like okay. I'm impressed. I'm impressed because I don't have the type of memory to remember if i were writing to pay do, all wait, that do you remember off. the car crash or the cat like jumped at them oh, and, yeah. and somehow right. no, no, made them no, crash the car somebody threw a live cat and yeah. a shield and then that's what happened see, in that scene. we see boss cat running away right mm-hmm. he somehow survived hitting the windshield he was like this is your warning out. yeah right they Get crash the their car so they don't have a vehicle he is like a mob boss he sends oh, you yeah. warnings and then if you don't heed he's like all right i gotta like, get my hands dirty because yeah. you didn't listen but i can't tell <laughs> what his motivation is did he want them to just get out i think so it was I'm, just that like, would be preferable to him i think because he does leave the horse's head in the fucking bed well it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a, a rat. Mouse. It's a yeah. rat yeah. yeah i like the way that the point of view comes up on it because timothy uh, goes out there throws a fucking thing out into the woods uh-huh. and the cat point of view comes up to it i'm like was he gonna bring it back to him or like he's no i think fucker. he sees it and he's just like yeah, he's like you oh, bastard you're not yeah. taking my warning yeah. all right you shit's get, on now you it's person. This time it's personal. Look how good these filmmakers are doing that we're able to get that from that shot. We're making it up. But I think that's what they wanted. Because he because he could have just thrown it in the garbage, but he went out in the yard and chucked it. Yeah, he did. Like mm-hmm. he walked past a garbage bag to do that. Because yeah. she had that garbage bag where she was getting rid of all the bus field knows how to ruined act. clothes. Yeah. Yeah, we've so. set up that the phones don't work. That's why the telephone repairman came mm-hmm. out. He was killed, so the phones never got fixed. So when she tries to call her it's husband, so guy. it's all like, uh, you know, crackly. And so he's like, I got to come home from the city because there's right. something crazy going on in my house. But did she also call the sister? Because sister is also on the way to the house. Husband doesn't know where he lives. He's like stuck going. Well, she he, yeah, the she sister finds the it no problem. Husband. A, but that's a, he goes well, to the train sister station sold the house. Train. She's the realtor. True. She knows where the house the is. He's like, I take this road and then yeah, I go there. Yeah, but how long have we they've been where there the at this point? For all enough, he should know where he lives. How many days? We don't know how many days they've been but he there. Never, he never drives there. Yeah. But he he always just goes day. to the station and then he takes the train. The, but we don't know how many days it's been. This could be over two days. He should know where he lived, I think. He couldn't find Garth. He couldn't find the town. he's an idiot. This is amazing. Uh, So... While the siege is going on, you know, Kathleen Quinlan's trying to rescue her daughter. There's a whole bunch of shit where they have to go out the window and they 
go to the basement. They find the dead guy and they try to make a call. They, she does call the cops. Then she has to go hide out in the fucking little house. Uh, well, hold on. We're, we're passing over something. Sean and I, you didn't see it coming because you were out of the room. Sean and I were losing it at a specific point where. Um, when they're in the bedroom? Yeah, we're in the, they're in the, the bedroom. It, it is one of the best moments of the film and you you, you did God, leave. Yeah. Damn it. I had to pee. They, you did leave. Uh, the, the cats, you know, they keep coming in through this air vent system. So she stuffs like pillows in the air vent. Like two pillows in there. And every once in a while, you just see the pillows slowly, <laughs> slowly, slowly start, start to push out. out. And it is terrifying and hilarious at the it same is. time. It is both. But then it'll cut to a POV in the air duct of two claws on the end of a stick. The only thing I ever wanted in this movie, or in most animal movies or cat movies, is that I want the two cat paws on the ends of sticks, because you know what they look like. Yep. Yeah. Clawing at something. And they're shredding this pillow. And they are shredding this fucking so pillow. You got it. Yep. Yeah. I got it. I okay. got what and I then, wanted. And there's a and back and... pushing it out. Yeah, there's yeah. a back and forth for a couple minutes. They push yes. it out. She pushes it back in. Yes. Put, and that's really hilarious and terrifying. It's great. It's, uh, it's amazing. And then they finally come out. And I don't know what you were expecting, but I was expecting the boss cat to yeah. come out. But no, like 10 cats come no. out. <laughs> yeah. It's like, they're just like, ah, oh, we all decided to like. <laughs> but thank God they escaped. Well, this is also the, when she was trying to fill up the water, you know, cat kryptonite. All right. By knocking off the faucet handles. The water's overflowing. I mean, this is a fucking catastrophe in this right. house. Now she's flooding the house. But I mean, it, but I there's lightning them, flashing through the. I'll give the... them all credit. I like. I do like. I'll always appreciate that a storm is happening because yeah, I always I like, like it. A, a, a lightning flash reveal yeah. of a killer in a house. It's yeah. awesome. Is always but good this, for me. In this I case, it like reveals that. like a whole bunch of cats bunch. sitting on the a the, ton. the <laughs> countertops, bunch, which is what I them. wanted. I wanted that, and I also wanted uh, once we got down to it, a uh, a one on one with the uh, boss cat. Yeah, because I wanted. That's what a, I wanted. I wanted a moment where the, the lightning struck, but we hung on the boss cat for a minute. Yeah, I wanted it to slow down for a second mm -hmm. before we got to, it. and we did get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. We did get there. I was actually surprised because I think the boss cat fight, if I remember right, happened a little earlier than I thought. But it was with Kathleen Quinn. Uh, right. Okay, so the the sister does show up. She does. Yeah. Hell yes. yeah. <laughs> but the uh, Kathleen Quinn and the, and the and the girl are outside the house, so and it's raining and thunder. Right, right, right. <clears throat> so she can't hear it, and so Claudia Christian comes into the house, you know, like What's flips going on the on? lights like a normal human being. Mm -hmm. But there's a fucking evil cat like in the chandelier. In the chandelier. Yeah. No, it's amazing. Not, not this part. Yeah. Not this part. No. Oh, that she, was when she was leaving the house. Was Kathleen leaving. Quinn was leaving the house. Kathleen Quinn was leaving in the. Cats in the chandelier and jumps out. Yeah, and but isn't that how he kills Claudia Christensen no, from no, being no. in the she chandelier? Goes upstairs. She goes yeah, upstairs but he knocks and... her over the stairs. But yep. he's not in the chandelier. Okay. Much like the Omen, right? She yes. falls right. to her death. She falls like a flight of stairs. It's she like gets, it's yeah, from gets, the uh, a it's house. Be, it's behind a box, and he's like, yeah. and she yeah. and she goes over a railing and goes to a table, and she's automatically Hits the floor dead. And she's dead. Dead yeah. from whatever. I don't know what injury killed her. Uh, she had blood in the corner of her mouth, so, so yeah, it was just internally. Her spine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very convenient that she died <laughs> right there. But whatever, she's dead. So I thought it was a way more believable death than the telephone repairman. I agree. Yeah, at least. Yeah, at, at least, least she fell she, from a distance. Yeah, yeah. she wasn't he just attacked by a shelf. bunch of cats, uh, scratched to death. Yeah. Um, oh, cat God. scratch fever. Okay, so I knew you. Oh, I knew you were gonna go there. Oh, yeah. I knew yeah. somebody was going to go there. I was tr still trying to work. I got another one. I'm trying to work oh, it in. Oh, no. Uh, so, uh, Timothy Busfield. Busfield comes home. It's <laughs> a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Long last. Well, I appreciate that you're doing it because I'm like, I have no idea what his last name yeah, yeah. Uh He comes home. And uh, because I think this is the thing, it's like we have that whole thing where the mom has to protect the kid. Right, you got right. that kind of. As the, the father makes impression. the journey back, to he may, yeah, where he can't find the fucking house, and right. then he finally gets there, and it's going to ultimately be him trying to defend his family against the. This evil is arachnophobia of the yeah of the cat. So this leads to a scene where the daughter. I don't remember how she got there, but she's in the kitchen of the house. He gets into the house. You don't know how she got there. All right, because she left they the small building. They don't explain that. She left the oh, small building Oh, that's right, because Kathleen Quinlan comes back after finding her dead sister, right? And she right. goes back to the small building, and the daughter's gone. And we're like, oh, no, she's been abducted by the cats. And Timothy pulls in, and she's like, 
Dude, the cats took I her. Just imagine just... She's riding in the back of cats as they abduct her into the. <laughs> I like yeah, to imagine her. Be... her I like to imagine her being dragged by like thirty cats. Right. Yeah. There is. There are many scenes in this movie where you imagine a cat dragging a body across the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because they all do work together. It is a <laughs> right. team effort in this yeah. movie. Yeah, right. It's amazing. But this this is maybe the best scene in the movie. I don't know. But like he, so he it's comes the into best. the he comes into the room. The kitchen. Imagine the kitchen, the kitchen right? from one yeah. door. She is already in the kitchen, cowering in the corner, and between him and her are like ten cats, right? All perched around. They're just sitting though; they're, they're like, not doing meow. anything. Yeah, they're just sitting there. They're cats. They're little cats. <laughs> yeah, and some of them are fighting with each other. So, oh my god, those two kids that like. You know they didn't want to use that clip, but they had to because it was the only one they had. Right, Those like, two kids were fighting with each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. Right, we yeah. don't have anything else. <laughs> His whole thing is like he, so through the beginning half, the lifetime <laughs> part of this movie, he's been trying to teach the dog to go through the dog uh, right. dog he door. And been the, teaching his daughter. Now he's te- <laughs> telling his daughter, <laughs> like we taught Ben, you got to crawl through the door, baby. Crawl through the door, don't honey. Don't go too fast. Yeah, don't go too fast. Because like these cats are gonna. Yeah, I know. And I sit there going like, they they're a bunch of cats. So you're telling he, me he can't get to her because there's a bunch of cats. I think it's the idea is like no sudden movements because yeah. right now they're like well, not doing they're anything. Going so. for, but, but this is where cats. like Night of the Lepus, <laughs> you sit there going like, what really is the threat? Right. From a bunch of really cute bunny if you rabbits. you spun in a circle or, five <laughs> times, you can probably get rid of most of those cats. Yeah, yeah, but no, I can't get to you, baby. You're going to have to do this on your own. Right. You're going to have to right. try to run and grab my child the... and throw them out a dog door. <laughs> I could do it well, without the cats hurting them. Well, and you guys, I mean, we, we're all either current or former cat owners here. You, you make us. Sl- <laughs> You're the former. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. sorry. That's Jinx, make, makes you rest in peace. You, oh, right. you make like. A noise that is slightly too loud for them, they all take off. You know what I'm saying? Like right. cats, right? Throw because a pan on the floor; they're all going to take off. I think you know? so. And no matter how feral they are, if you make a noise loud enough, they're all like, Meh. they're yeah. they all get freaked gone. out. Yeah, yeah. but not gone. when they're under the general orders of Boss, boss cat. cat, right? And they exercise- are. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because they know if they don't like fucking do what he says, he'll he's fuck them up. Fuck them up. Yeah. Yeah. That because is a cat that the doesn't fuck minute- around. The minute that she goes out the door flap, she does. Uh, folks, I hope you weren't worried. But, uh, it was all talking. Please, the girl worried. survives. She gets out the door, but immediately, Boss Cat attacks Timothy Blumsfeld. Right, mm-hmm. Busfield. Busfield. Uh, there it is just jumps right, right, right on. Cat, Boss Cat does jump on a lot of people in this movie. A lot, yeah. Yeah. and I'm all. But it's, it's all like, how does he get him off? Of but him? you know what? That cat jumps on people in this movie, mm-hmm. like at least three times, and that's that cat jumping on people. Yeah, it's in not the movie. he's not being thrown. No, he's, no. Uh, jumping. It is. I saw there's a movie Dario Argento made a movie called Opera. Have you seen this? No, not no. Opera. Sorry, Inferno. No, the sequel to no. Suspiria. And in no. that movie, there is a scene where cats attack uh, Dario Nicolotti, and it <laughs> is I don't know how many operators, cat operators, cat throwers. <laughs> They have oh, off screen, but they're just cat, chucking right. Cats. A cat operator is a cat thrower. <laughs> oh, it's a fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, no they, cats straight up murder people in that movie. Oh no. Oh yeah. They do like when they train movie cats, train them to like jump on different targets, and it looks like that they just like you know like pointed to like their shoulder or whatever, and the cat just just that's right. what it looks like. It's happening. This movie it doesn't look like a throw. It looks like that cat's just jumping. No, there is mark, a lot of mark. like no that cat jumped from here to there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How does he get the cat off of him? I can't remember this. Because the cat's on. That was which time uh, I was like, was, yeah. Because at one point, cat. that was dummy cat. Well, at one point, Kathleen Quinlan has the cat on her, and she has to knock a hole in the ceiling to let all the water that's collected upstairs right. from the dummy, bathtub. That's yep. dummy cat. Dr- drench the cat and it right. gets off. I also think once it starts, it oh, it feels like it starts sucking the blood of Timothy Busfield's throat. Yeah, you throat. hear it make a little yeah. noise. Right, like it that, feels yeah. like I hear it going. Yeah. <laughs> but he's got to like that is. I feel like that's dummy cat at that point, mm-hmm. and he just. Gets rid of that. Okay, he gets rid of it. So then Boss Cat's like ready to attack. Boss Cat's yes, on the on cat. the ledge of the whatever that was the, the cabinet. And ready I, to I jump. think it was the fridge. Were we on the fridge? He's on, We're the, on the fridge. fridge at some point. He's ready to jump. And this movie, ladies and gentlemen, rips off Jaws 2. <laughs> so it God had, bless them. As we were saying, this movie has it. set up uh Chekhov's everything. It's in this up case everything. Uh, everything. Chekhov's faulty microwave yes. wiring yes. the cable to the microwave doesn't it's work oh, oh that's it 
He puts the fucking cat in the. Oh, this is oh, fantastic. This, it, he does. This great. is how he it's gets great. it off him. He throws the this cat into the. You know, he's like he's struggling. With he's the struggling cat. with the cat. <laughs> he's reaching for that button that opens the microwave yes. door. Opens it. Throws the cat in there and closes it. Tries to turn the microwave on, but because we've established work. the microwave has uh, the wire, the cable, big it's like thick an exposed button. wire. Or right. something. Yeah, so he, he just taped it. So the power doesn't work. So he just picks the fucking thing up, the microwave, and throws it. Yes, across the kitchen, ripping the cable. So now you've got a sparking yes. cable. This is like it sounds like fantastic. As yeah, I'm hearing myself describing this, yeah. the the microwave lands and we zoom in slowly. Yes. It's a great push in on the great. microwave door, and we're like, "What's gonna happen? Is this fucking thing gonna just bust right out through the glass, or is it just microwave? gonna ding and like?" <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> but the microwave door flies open, and this cat like lunges out onto it's, the refrigerator. I, all right, let's stop here because I can't express enough how great it is or how. Forceful it is that this cat flies oh, yeah, out like, of the microwave. It comes out hard. Cat. It is blasted out of the microwave. <laughs> wow. And it is awesome. Yeah. Blasted. Mm-hmm. Because now it's just it's a body. Like, this is one of those cats like you you have to kill him. You can't just shoot no, and miss. Because you're just gonna make him more angry. You have oh, yeah. to kill him yeah, on yeah, your he's first out shot. For blood at no, this, point. this cat has to die. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And oh my god. Busfeld gets the idea. He takes the It's it's Jaws too. It yeah. is Jaws. And he just holds the cable up in front of him. Yeah. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. He does, which you have to do in a cat movie, I guess. Right, yeah, you, you gotta work that in there at some movie. point. Here, kitty, kitty. Wait, uh, but what is he? He had like a one-liner when he put the cat in the microwave. Do you remember what it was? No. It oh, was yeah, not something great. about your nine lives or yeah, something. Yeah, like yeah. When he was pressing yeah. the buttons, he yeah. did oh, say a uh, one-liner, it. which I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, you got nine lives, but you... No, I can't I No, I, I, I can't. I can't claim it to, was an to remember joke. what it is, but it was an eye yeah. joke. But it does, like, we can't remember that. We can remember when the cat gets blessed <laughs> out, out of the fucking <laughs> microwave yep. onto the Jaws 2 moment where, yeah. it, where it bites onto a live fucking wire and gets fucking electric. Because it's jumping at him and he just raises that wire at the last moment. And the cat just chomps right onto it. Yeah. And that, <laughs> that puppet that's getting electrocuted is hilarious. Because <laughs> it's like, eh, you see paws going. Eh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a fucking, it's a moment. Uh, it's, it is. Realizing so that their leader has been killed, all the other oh. cats apparently retreat. Well, we yeah. don't know that. Actually, we fade up on, like, you know, the idyllic next morning. We do, yeah. Where after animal control, because the police eventually do show up. We don't see this. I don't think we hear the sirens. Maybe they didn't have the budget. To bring the cops. Um, the police do show up. Animal control gets rid of all the cops. But the family is wisely moving out of this Leaving, house. This yes. is where you get the line. Like, I was just Even though used to animal the control has gotten rid of all the cats, quote unquote. Yeah. I, I wonder if it's like Game of Thrones. Like, you kill the Night King and all his, like, yeah. his, oh, yeah. all his, I like, like horde like, yeah. yeah. dies, mm-hmm. too. Right. You know? the, the main cat died. So yeah. they're all just like, they have we don't have to worry. Anymore. He's yeah. not going to fuck us up anymore. We can yeah, go we're, do we're, really we're free from his reign of terror. We can be normal cats now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely what happened. Nobody seems too terribly perturbed by the fact that sister is dead because uh, she was. Uh, they're like, fuck her. She was a bitch. Anyways. That's right. Kathleen Quinlan's like, whoo, I don't have to worry about my husband now. Everything's the husband's easier like, than oh, that. I don't have she's to. Dead. Yeah. Even, though she, even though she is like perfectly framed for her murder because she had like she was we, alone we, with her in the right, house. Did, she has a motive. Did, we did gloss over this. Like if if someone were to come into this scenario and the cats did not exist, uh, Timothy Busfield's wife. Uh, Kathleen Quinlan would be the main suspect in the murder yeah. of many people. Yeah, because who's going to believe a cat does it? No, At no one's going to believe a veterinarian... herd of cats killed everybody. Well, especially you hear, okay, this is like so. The victim is this is her sister, and she was right. having an affair with her husband. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some cat, and these two were home all, home alone. Yeah. All right. The so. veterinarian sums it up it, with maybe the movie's greatest line. I'm saying this a lot, but I mean <laughs> this could be the greatest line. He had, but he was he was sage. He was sage. Yeah, and sage was, wisdom. Yes. Sage where wisdom. he's like the guy's like, but I'm telling you, like this cat's doing all this stuff. He's like, sir, it's a cat. Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, that is the reality of of what people will believe in this movie. Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. 
Fantastic. Mm-hmm. There is a kicker to this movie. Is that what they call there it? Is a kicker. After you fade out and you're this, like, you know, yeah. they moved out. They're they're leaving. The, we were the, all very surprised by this mm-hmm. kicker. Right, you got to fade back up. The end of this movie was a slow fade in on the uh, lattice work of of this house, which goes into the uh, tiny gray kitten of our main crazy kitten. The exact right. the spawn. same ending as man's yeah. best friend. Right. The That's exact right. same. Yes, it is spawn of our of our crazy cat. Uh, we show them and we freeze frame on them as we fade to black. Oh. Yeah, they were like, "Okay, it's over." But, but no, then we go to another scene. Yeah, it's amazing. It's fade just... back up, and then like another uh, a realtor is another bringing another family, and uh, we see point of view. Cat moving around. Cat goes in the through the dog door. Mm-hmm. And then we fade out again, and which is strange. Hear, we just hear voice dialogue. Over. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is not as effective. No, it felt. I thought that was really bad. I thought it, they should have cut that. Actually, good. no, we should have just. Uh, is it just like we get something, it? Like, like oh, we get he's it. A cute I got little cat, and then you hear meow. Then uh, credits. Yeah, no, uh, we got it with the baby cat and the meow and all that mm-hmm. stuff, and we fade to black. We didn't need this extra part. Mm. It wasn't. Uh, yeah. It you could have even just. You could have even just had a for sale sign in the yard and then zoom in on the cat. And that. I don't that think you need any of that. Been... I think you stop on the freeze frame of the baby cat, like man's best friend. You're that like, would have been. Okay, yeah, so yeah this, that yeah. should have yeah. been in. Like if we if, if we gone past the for sale sign. And then and yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cat, and then go down to the baby cat. That that's been it. Perfect. Yeah, that this been, doesn't ruin the movie, needs. but it does. No, feel it like doesn't. The movie ran out about two minutes longer than it needed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, uh, that's probably uh, that's, so. We've laid out strays for you we for have. those of you who haven't seen it, which is probably all of you. Yeah, it's, I would think so. I don't <laughs> think many people have seen this movie. No, I, I the reason why I, I I brought it is because I had not had not heard of it even until uh, Shout Factory announced they were putting out the Blu-ray, it. and I was like, "What? This is?" I was like. How perfect that this is coming out mm-hmm. in the middle of the summer where I'm doing nature attacks <laughs> movies. I got to pick this, yes. and so I blind you bought the Blu-ray. It and you bought it, yeah. yeah. What's uh, Michaela's theme for next year going to be? Uh, it's been we'll two see. years of canon films, one year of nature attacks. Stay tuned, listener. We'll I'm yeah. interested. We'll this is why you. This is why you tune into the show mm-hmm. because <laughs> you know what? I have no idea what she's going to pick, <laughs> yeah, which know. is exciting to me. She and doesn't it, even know. She yeah, just right? said, "And the hosts no are excited. Yeah. You're excited. Yeah. Yeah. So I look forward to next year." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, we're not done, though, because what nope. we're going to do and when we haven't tipped our hands to is whether or not we <laughs> like this movie and should you watch it. Mm. This is the most entertaining part of the show. Well, the second most, which is probably the mailbag. That's the most. Uh, well, is it? I don't know. I don't know. Depends, we're going to find it out. It depends on you. What do you like? That's why we're talking to you. You're listening. So what you're going to do, you're going to stick around. We're going to call our mailman, Igor. He's going to bring us your mail. Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. He's got a little water pistol gun. Looks like a real gun. <laughs> he does. He just <laughs> seems dangerous. Yeah. Well, I just kid. use him to pick off all the rats and the mice. That, uh, oh, were That's they, were they jumping on a cabinets at him, too? Yeah, he's, this he's is, uh, yeah. He chases him down he's and gets him cornered and yeah. He's got some downtime in between the one they we got now and there's a week until we need him again. <laughs> yeah. So he's got some downtime. He, I mean, what do you like, think we feed him? Be useful. We don't. <laughs> like he shoots them for his own uh He's earned his keep, yeah. Yeah. Edification he, and sustenance. Do you think point. Igor could have like he could be like the boss cat of a bunch of kids? Yeah, well, he's a little boss cat group going the on. The boss cat of like whatever species is it cats or he whatever is. he is, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's a strange. It'd be cute I, if he had a little I cat I hope squad, there's though. no more of him. <laughs> well, let's. Uh, he could lead like an uprising at that point. Well, I don't sh- think that'd be good. Sh- oh, hey, 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 you don't want to give people ideas. Uh, so, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. why don't we <laughs> remind folks how they can get a hold of us on Facebook? Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. And uh, by email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. MF Mad, the keeper of the wall, writes in about strays and says the beginning kill in the movie made it seem like we were going to get a giant cat monster. Oh, yes, shit. that's like, exactly what Colin said. He's on our wavelength because I, yeah. was, we were all thinking giant cat. I was thinking, yeah, I all thought this us. was a giant cat. I like, thought, yeah, there's gonna I boss was, cat would be a giant cat. It made us feel like a giant cat. Movie. Yeah. Well, he says, sadly, we got church from Pet Cemetery ripoff. 
I can't wait for the long overdue sci-fi mashup of Man's Best Friend versus Strays. Oh my, I'd watch that movie in a heartbeat. That'd be awesome. Well, he also says this is Ziva, his (gasps) cat, who was sleeping. Through the entire movie. Oh, that's, that's a right. really cute cat with Ziva really big was paws. Not entertained. Oh, that's fine, no. Ziva. <laughs> you not be entertained. <laughs> I, I, I know how we can set up this movie, this versus movie. So the cat that got swallowed in Man's Best Friend, that was one of Boss Cat oh, yeah. Squad. Oh, and oh, they're shit. they're like they gotta oh, you know b- blood for blood, you know? Yeah. So, so they come after they come after the puppy of the man's best friend dog. That's fine. That's a brilliant scene where that's the fine. cat gets swallowed whole in Man's mm-hmm. Best oh. Friend. Uh, Andrew Bradford says, while working in a jail in booking, oh. I spent my downtime reading B-movie reviews. The website included sound clips for each movie, one of which was Strays. While I'd crank up the sound and play the sound clip of Screeching Cats, it always got a good response from my coworkers. Aside from that, the movie's awful. <laughs> <clears throat> There is like an endless loop of every like stock sound of cats <laughs> that you've ever heard. It really is. It's all stock <laughs> sounds and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Meow. <laughs> Meow. What's I, a I would give like me your I would evil like... cat though? Evil cat sound. Yeah, it's like that. It's there like you go. low growl. <clears throat> uh, Michael Whitaker says, "Let's be honest. Cats are jerks who only don't eat us because we happen to be bigger than them. Perfect subjects for horror movies." Uh, yes and. Sort of like I mean, if you do die in your house with the cats, the cats will eat you. I love my cat, but yeah, but if you cat, die, no, she'll, she'll, she'll eat you. She'll eat me. Like <laughs> eventually. I mean, I know eventually. cats are jerks, she but she will give me my time to rest, and then she will eat me, mm-hmm. which is fine. I love my cat. We my cat understood un- me. We have an understanding. <clears throat> my dog would never do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> your dog's gonna die. Yeah, but when you die. no, but it. Okay. We we're all ca- we're all like I said, we're all that, current or foreign cat. The thing but... to be okay with is that you have an understanding with your cat that they do eat you. I see. I I think that's an insult because I worked so hard. I work a job so that they can have a nice life, and that's how they. But then treat you me. died, and yeah. so what else? But you can't give them anything else anymore, and so your body <laughs> is the next thing <laughs> to give them. Oh, okay, this... my cats have one of those endless feeders where it just like constantly keeps a full bowl, so there's no sure. reason for them to ever eat my body. You are the endless feeder. At that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Michaela, you're gonna get eaten by a cat. Well, Teresa <laughs> Ann writes in and says, this and the uninvited, which is a demon cat on a yacht movie, mm-hmm. were responsible for my ultimate fear of cats as a kid. I mean, I guess if you're exposed to both of those movies at a young age, I can Makes see sense. that. My unfab life, so? I think, I, no. Did I write there? It's my unfab life. Mm-hmm. It says, so I went and watched the trailer. It's a catnophobia. It's technically... <laughs> A lurophobia, but it's obviously a riff on the 1990 Jeff Daniels classic arachnophobia. It, it, it feels definitely, like, yeah, there is definitely, it's riffing on that. It definitely well, you're feels that, like that it. was 1990. This is the year after that. Okay. It feels like it. I um, got some vibes. <clears throat> well, about last week's episode, Idle Hands, G Money writes in and says, Idle Hands is one of my go to Halloween films and favorite horror comedies. The practical effects are still enjoyable. Definitely remember sneaking into this one and followed the production in Fangoria. Nostalgia kicks in every time I see someone with sleeves past their hands. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, that was a thing. We all ruined so many shirts doing that, didn't we? Yeah. How was uh, Idle Hands? Uh, uh, I mean, wh- I'm. Ki- how do you think? It- what do you think each of us landed on this? Uh, I think Colin hated it. You are correct. <laughs> yes, I think Michaela was just like, oh, I like it. I, I actually you liked it correct. a lot more I than I thought like I was going to. I feel like I would have. I have Yeah, I would have been on the outside a long it, time. It had been about ten years since I watched it, and I really, I laughed out loud a lot more. I, 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 I think I would have too, because yep, I used to love that movie. I would have been on the outside. Yeah, and I think the only the sane that, person <laughs> watching <laughs> about our movie Carnosaur, which we watched ah. two weeks ago. Karate Warrior Two says it's Colin with the MVP on this episode. The MIDI imitation reminded me of my right. dad's Casio keyboard in the days when I downloaded MIDIs of songs because MP3s didn't exist on the net yet. I also think he created a new Saturday Night Freak Show standard to accompany the Reign of Fire scale, the Dementia Simulator. 
<laughs> I, I don't remember what the dementia simulator. I don't remember what that was. Watching that movie is a dementia simulator where <laughs> you have no idea what's happening at any goddamn watch. given time. And see, That's look, true. the dementia simulator is working on you right now because yeah, you, don't you don't even remember, remember what Cardasaur. the dementia simulator was. I mean, there's... Ah, woof. Well, yeah. ironically, we, we said... We, we didn't recommend that movie, did we? No. 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 That's why. <laughs> Shut I don't remember the, see, see you're said, living in the dementia you know simulator. It is because you know what? I remember <laughs> nothing about that episode There you go. This is it. Okay, so you're absolutely right. You're proving the the writer's That's point. That's fine, because I don't remember anything about well, that. What's ironic about this is Travis Legler wrote in and said, because we said that there was like five fucking sequels. There are, Carnosaur, yes. That, and soon, Sean will have seen them all. Uh, <laughs> That's what you do, though. Yeah, it you, is what I do. I, like, I, I, I will say there is there is the opportunity that I may watch sequels to that movie. <laughs> they exactly. May they may happen. Exactly. Uh, Grant Parrish writes in and says, you guys talked about Jurassic Park being the only dinosaur franchise, but you forgot about the franchise bef that started before Jurassic Park. It has a whopping 14 entries in its canon. The land before time. Uh, ah, yeah. yes. I no. can't believe there's 14 of those. We didn't That's forget crazy. about it, but man, nobody kept up with it with for that long. <laughs> I don't I, think I, I've seen I, any I've of seen those like fucking movies. Maybe three of those movies. Yeah. All right. Everyone then. remembers the first one, obviously, but uh, past that, I've seen two, and that's it. All right, so this is a kind of an out of left field, but we have gotten uh, two comments this week on our Quatermass and the Pit episode, which oh. is ironically coming out at the end of this month. From uh, oh sorry, by the time you listen to this, it's right. out. Shout I think Factory, right? Shout Factory. Yeah, yeah. Uh, JW Pilot <clears throat> says, "I love your review. I first saw it as five million years to Earth on late night TV when I was twelve, and it left a scary impression. And that's Mister Moron to you." Says, <laughs> "Check out Cornell Wilde's Gargoyles. It was a seventies <laughs> made for TV movie, very much like another made for TV flick. Don't be afraid of the dark. Oh, that one was made in a movie great. by." Uh, Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo del Toro, so, yeah. It scared the crap out of me. I'm still frightened 50 years later of dark roads and basements. As for Quatermass being a no to all, this movie was a culmination of a slew of radio and 50s TV shows of him and his chums experiencing the unknown. Sure, the movie's dated, but the center, but center on the superb acting of the terrified cop and drill operator. You remember uh, Quatermass in the Pit? I was not here. <clears throat> you weren't. I, I, nope, wasn't I was not. Either. Oh, so that's like Sorry, a Colin. previous Kate, uh, freak show. That was the previous generation. Of the All right. I'm going to. So since I'm the only. I, so I get to do this then. Like you should <laughs> check out Quatermass and the Pit. We, I mean, I, a we great hammer sure. science fiction movie that's yeah. been ripped off or borrowed from uh, ever since. Feline Fatale oh. writes in and says, you guys should review both parents and society. Well, so I think society. we're going to have to do society. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Have to do society. I don't know if I can take that again. All I the know. shunting. I know. It's we're gonna, but it's been brought up so much. It's been people want to hear us so talk much. about it. We, yeah. We're probably going to have to do society. <sighs> I know. That's how Sorry, I feel Colin, about it, too. We're going to probably have to do it. Derf. Yeah, because I've never seen it, and I think it needs to be checked off the list. Derf. Sorry, Colin. It's not going to be a pleasant experience. No, maybe no. not. How many times can I take it? That movie. Well, maybe it is. Yeah. Okay, so that brings us to the most exciting part of the show, where we're going to go around the room and review strays, starting with Colin. <coughs> Colin. Hey you. Colin. Yes, Sean. <laughs> there we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about tonight's movie, Strays? Um. All right, so Strays. Is a Michaela fucking snuck another goddamn TV movie oh, in here? So like this is Terror Tract was one. I know we really yeah. liked that. Snuck that Terror was a, Track. That was an it, audience suggestion. Terror and uh, Sharknado, I think, are the TV movies that, was that we've done. That before my time. Yeah. Our, for that. our show. <laughs> That's also probably an episode you should go back and watch. Uh, did <laughs> Sean do one just a couple months ago? What I don't yeah. remember. It was what it. I don't remember. It. He did the original. No, well, yeah, series yeah. Of it. So yeah, you, we did that, but there was another one more recently. I thought. I well, we got it somewhere. Well, there's I a don't line remember what it was. That's why I'm asking. But you what? know what you're, it is, and you're, you're not going to say it. Yes. And not know the uh, uh, the it specifics. Was, Come on. It was something, and you were you were saying that he always does this. He always brings in the TV. Sneaks movies. in the TV yeah. movie. I, then I Michaela don't remember what it was. Uh, I don't remember who we watched last week. <laughs> All right, so call me out with a bullshit, Michaela. Fine. But you you have a track record of doing this, so don't say you haven't done it. Yep. So, Strays. 
Straight. It's a ridiculous movie about uh, killer cats. And you sit there. I mean, I guess this is the thing. I sat there through a lot of the scenes um, just watching in disbelief as characters could not make it through a room with a bunch of friendly looking cats. <laughs> they are all friendly looking. <laughs> they are all friendly looking except for the fucking yeah, little are. bastard boss cat who's yeah, a mean are. motherfucker. But aside from him, the rest of them look like normal house right. cats. They're all just like Meow. I had the same issue that I guess I had with um Night of the Leapers, where you're okay. trying to say like, you know, the oh, killer vicious, bunny rabbits. They're vicious. The vicious like, ah, killer they're, bunny. They're We're bunny gonna put rabbits. blood on their mouths and you yeah. will be afraid of them. Uh I was not afraid of them at all at all. And the scenes that were supposed to be creating tension were hilarious. I mean this is a great watch it with friends movie. And so I guess this is why I am yeah. going to give this a passing grade Yeah, is because I had a lot of fun watching this movie tonight because it does shit. That's crazy. Uh, you know, cats clawing through fucking oh doors. My God. Cats clawing like through doors. I guess I would have appreciated maybe some type of motivation. Like I was not clear on why the cats wanted to do what, you know, just the feral kill everyone. When you're feral, you just do crazy shit. Yeah, but like <laughs> at least Cujo, <clears throat> God damn it, Cujo says we've got a, a rabid dog, right? Because yeah. at the beginning, Cujo is like he's a nice dog. Are these he, not rabid cats? No, no, they're just he's a feral cat. You're saying, but what makes but a that's cat a rabid feral? Cat. No, that's rabid isn't has rabies. Yeah, he has rabies. It's he goes, not. he's a good dog. No, no, sticks they're his completely head different down a hole trying to chase a rabbit. Yeah. There's a bat in there that bites him, yeah. and he gets rabies, true. and so then he becomes evil dog. True, true, uh, true. This is just like, okay, this cat. All of a sudden, I don't know if this cat is introduced in the ecosphere at the beginning. Maybe that's what's supposed to be. We're supposed to read from. Uh, the old lady getting killed. She's a cat lady who has like a bunch of cats, but this point of view comes from outside of the home, right? And yep. comes and kills her, then becomes the dominant cat saying like, I'm taking over this whole area that you guys have got going on. It's a mob movie it's for yeah. cats. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It feels correct. Yeah. I know yeah. because he does, like I said, yeah. he leaves the horse's head. Yeah. Uh, so, just, I mean, maybe wow. that, maybe, maybe I just read, maybe that is what the filmmakers thought. I'm not positive. Uh, I was kind of like, huh, why? And then there was an abrupt shift that felt like, you know, this is a lifetime movie that I could give two shits about. And then all of a sudden switched into the horror of cats movie. And I was more into that. Uh, but I think, uh, yeah, if you're looking for, okay. So I'm going to say right now, I can't think of the other movie that I would say is the killer cat movie. Yeah. Okay, aside from uh, like something with lions or something or bobcats, mm -hmm. I mean we're talking domestic animals, right? There, yeah, there's no killer cat. The killer movie. cat movie. I think it strays right now. Yeah. Everybody's fucking going like, well, what about you know, this, that, Colin? No, no, that's good enough, Colin. No, they're right gonna now, write in right now. Right now, right now. Yeah, but it that could strays. be because my I'm just not thinking. That's fine. No, right I do now, remember those strays. scenes in Inferno, which were, I mean, those at least chew on the fingers. You always get that like <laughs> yes. shot of like the cat chewing on the fingers. You get and that like, in, uh, they're Batman, them. Batman Returns does that. The chewing. On yeah. The fingers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta have that. Uh, so I guess I'm recommending Strays then. Uh, yeah, killer cat movie. Yeah, you are. This is it. Uh, put it down. Like you will have a lot of fun with this movie, despite its uh, uh, ridiculousness. Because the 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 actors are committed. They're very good. The production value is very TV movie cheap, but shot well. Like and on film, like you would expect a movie in 1991. So it looks uh decent. Yeah, I don't know. Strays, check it out. Uh, Sean, what do you think? Uh, you said, uh, d uh, despite what it is, or in, in spite of what it is, I, I think because of what it is, um, I I fucking loved Strays tonight. Like I, it, it was uh, obviously I had a lot of fun watching it with everyone, you know, in a group tonight, uh, because we were all just looking at this movie, going like, what, whoa, 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 what the fuck is going on? But it was, uh, I think you can watch this on your own and have a good time with it because there's some ridiculous shit going on with it. We get there. Um, and plus, like, <laughs> well, it's ridiculous, I mean, but is it a quality horror movie? Yeah, yeah, 
I think so, because it's all about the main characters getting tormented by whoever the antagonist is. And I think that is pulled off to a very good degree in this movie. Um, because, uh, I mean, as you see in this, um, but, uh, yeah, it happens. It it, is pulled off very well. I enjoyed it. Um, it is, you know, there's ridiculousness to it because there's cats (laughs) pawing through like, like vents and everything to get to it. And and that's great. It, it, it really is great. Like I, it's, uh, it, it, it's everything. It, it, I feel like it's everything I want in a uh, uh, a group of cats attack movie. Um, I had a lot of fun watching this tonight. I think I would have a lot of fun watching this on my own. Um, I would watch this again. I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, you should definitely watch the story. It is the cat attack movie. Like I can't think of anything else that would take its place. Like because there is no. We, you know, you can talk about sleepwalkers, but again, we decided that's not a cat yeah, well, attack we movie. Seen the that is, that guess, is the cat people yeah. but movie. The, the uninvited is a, this. Like, yeah, I've never seen that's, that. One. Well, just like the premise of that is a little bit different because, like we were saying, like compared to like man's best friend and stuff, like there's no modification to these cats. Sure, they're just cats. So, whereas the uninvited has some that is a thing. To like it, so. this is just cats. Mm-hmm. The cat with the collar. That makes him crazy, right? He's yeah, being no, controlled is, by the evil scientist. Right. There's yeah. no outside information. There's this is just the cats you're seeing, just regular cats, but they're crazy. I really had a good time with this movie. Uh, you should definitely watch Strays. <laughs> like, I want to watch this fucking movie again. <laughs> it's it, it, ridiculous in parts. Um, I, again, you get <laughs> you get fucking cats clawing through oak doors trying to get to people to try and kill them. Um, I had a lot of fun with this movie tonight, and it was it was really good. Um, I recommend Strays. Like I had a really good time with this, so you know uh, I'm not biased because I love cats. It's a really good movie. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, watch Strays. I recommend it, Michaela. Uh, yeah, I, I had a great time watching this. I I was I. This is a blind buy, and I hadn't watched it before. Usually, Bravo I watch. Bravo to you for doing a blind buy on Strays. Yeah, well, like I said, Shell Factory said they were releasing. It. I was like, this is perfect for what I'm doing this summer. I yeah. have to get it, so I bought it. And then I was like, I'm just gonna wait till we watch it. I usually watch things beforehand when we do them here, but I was like, I, I'm like, it's a killer cat movie. I think, uh, I think I kind of want to just like experience it all together. Right? And uh, I'm glad I did because Bravo. it was, it was awesome. That's that's bravery. As yeah. far as I'm concerned. it uh, it's definitely a great group watch like it is i want to do another group watch i think this and sleepwalkers is like your ultimate like double feature group watch as far as cats go yeah well like but like just the ridiculousness of both of them as far as like like, people like you want if you can do a group watch you mm -hmm. want to you wouldn't you would almost encourage people like expressing themselves as they watch it yeah and i feel like this movie definitely Mm -hmm. brings it out and uh, if you're talking about Sleepwalkers, that is another movie that definitely brings it out. Yeah. Because we get, you know, Clovis and his, uh, the sheriff's side. Get right? that like, motherfucker. Want, yeah. you, you, want, you want jubilation. You want exclamation when you're watching these movies. And it only adds yeah. to that experience. I think this is a good palate cleanser for Sleepwalkers. Because I, and I fucking love Sleepwalkers. That's a, that's a fucking bizarre movie. But it is way too bizarre like to just like watch that and be like, now I'm going to go to bed. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so I think, I think if you watch this movie after sleepwalkers, right. cause right. it's grounded You're and like it's more straight, realistic. Straight cat movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And especially cause this movie's 83 minutes. So it's real quick. Right. But like, yeah, this is a nice, like, okay, here's a grounded cat movie. You know, here's just cats. It's like, I can't believe how well shot it is. It's edited really well because they have to do those things to create the tension they need because yeah. they're not getting it out of the cats. You know, like yeah. the scene where they're in the kitchen and they're trapped, those cats are playing with toys. That whole scene. They're all <laughs> like had their paws in the air batting at toys that <laughs> Wranglers are holding just above the camera, you know? Right. so Very if you, selective and specific editing. Yeah, like the editors are the MVP on this. Editors and uh, music people doing the score and the, the Foley artists and all that stuff. Like they really made this movie what it was. It was a lot of fun to watch. I can't wait to watch it again. I can't wait to watch it with another group of people. And like, it's like, it's a shame no one's ever heard of it because it's, it's better than it deserves to be. Right. You know? I wanna, I, you're right. I want to show it to groups of people. It should be Different so much groups worse. groups of people I want to show it to. Yeah. Them. Like, it's, 
it should be so much worse. I thought I was worried it was going to be boring. You know, I was really Which worried it was going to be boring. the worst thing you can be as a movie is be boring. Yeah, like, like you know, you were talking about it was very, like, hand, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. Like, that mm. movie's very boring for most of the movie, you know, Mostly, until yes. it hits the climax, you know? Yeah. And I was worried that that's what was going to happen here. I was like, this is going to be more like a Lifetime movie. We're like, we're like, or I was worried it would be like, is it yeah. really the cats or is it just yeah. like, right. they think I don't it's want the dramatic cats. cat yeah, killing yeah. movies. I want purposeful this cat is killing someone yeah that's the movie i want but it yes. really went for it and i like it paid off like and i love that all i would say all the things the cats do in this movie are within the bounds of what actual cats can do like like you know in king what? in kia the clawing through the door shut well, up colin <laughs> not that but like unscrewing the uh the fan the the you right. no uh, you didn't see unscrewing don't talk about that you just saw <laughs> the screw you, popped out right but you just yeah. saw a cat and then you saw the the screen was gone and everything you didn't see unscrew- i mean obviously like, a cat didn't reach through and unscrew shit so don't put that in the cat's mouth <laughs> i guess what i'm saying is like they don't like emote or they don't like cross any anthropomorphic lines you sure. know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. in that sense like everything they do I mean, like scratching through the door. What there's the like cat thirty hands on sticks is limited. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, like they don't have them cross into any sort of supernatural or anthropomorphic bound right. bounds. You know, they're doing cat behaviors. They're exaggerated cat behaviors, like clawing through a door. But it's still a cat behavior. Right. You know, and Colin, they foreshadowed that when you saw how fucked up that tree was with how scratched up That's it was right. in the beginning. True. So, true. and that like the bark was completely scraped off like one side of the tree. So. There was a, once again another box they checked along yeah. the way. So, but yes, definitely check out Strays. Oh god damn it, Strays! Buy the Blu-ray. There you go. Maybe. Yeah, that's... they need the sales apparently. Uh, so that's Strays on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Yep. Next week we're gonna be watching a movie that's chosen by Colin. Colin, what are we gonna watch next week? All right, so I've been going back and forth on oh, this. No. I've actually wanted to bring this to the Freak Show for a while, but I don't know if it's not in the same league as okay. Have you guys seen uh, George Romero's Martin? No. Nope. Okay. We're going to watch George Romero's Martin (laughs) on uh, next week's episode. All right. Good. This is one I wanted to check off the list. Okay. Well, then then, there you go. go. All right. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll find out. Thoughts on this movie. Yeah. All right. So that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.